Hello everyone, RC Tanks 24-7 here again. Now I just wanted to kind of finish up the details on this 116th uh, Tamiya JS2. And I kind of want to replicate um, kind of, you know, soldiers' footprints coming up on the tank and uh, just dirtying it up a bit with the mud on their boots. Obviously I've got a lot of mud on the tank, so it looks a bit odd if there's no other mud anywhere else. So I've tried to kind of replicate just kind of little splats of mud there here where the mud's kind of gathered up or just dirt has uh, gathered. So what I use for this is a mixture of uh, some pigments and basic white glue. So this is kind of raw umber and uh, I'm not too sure about the colour, uh, kind of like a wood colour and just basic uh, white glue I just dip them together and I apply it where I see fit so I'll turn the tank around sorry about the camera work guys just filming my phone, just thought I'd make a quick video of it so like on the other side I kind of applied it, just just kind of and don't worry about it, if you see white that'll do benefit of uh, white glue is that it, ju it just dries um, clear so so this one's, yeah, it's kind of patches here and there nothing uh, scientific about it or precise, just putting it uh, around certain parts of the tank where I think that it'll, it'll build up and it just adds another dimension to the uh, to the work there so you can just see and these tanks weren't going into any uh, show condition so <laughs> I don't think they cared about uh, how they looked pretty much in battle but that's pretty much it, so I've just, just you can use real dirt, um, I'm just using pigments here because of their finer uh, texture, but uh, real dirt sifted on these 116, I think uh, 116 tanks works great, just because of the scale. So I can lift this up and show you guys what I'm talking about. I think the result that you get is pretty, in well, my opinion, looks pretty realistic. Let me know what you guys think or any other hints and tips. Just a quick video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, there'll, be, there'll be plenty more to come. Thanks, guys.